energy fortune. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wancroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand attention warners I am the queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice snake eye. Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! Hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Fortuna works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Yeah, check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old scroll space. It works for us. <laughs> nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. 
And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new adventures, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dies a day to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy. Even Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> And the Queen said, every child of twelve years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace. Well, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, Even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. A portrait of Uncle Jinx, a painting of Aunt Cordelia, 
an image of great 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 grandmother water an image of great great grandfather peters 200 years ago he ate all his clothing to win a bet oh it was still very late or was it very early and even even's father never told her stories he preferred reality to fan even's mother had always painted and she'd share with even the stories she'd hidden in her painting on shoes little parts of her life still even's parents had locked the door securely and these paintings showed stories even's mother told her were safe to share because they were true well, so she said like the story of the card makers of five town who'd suffered a horrible fate the scariest painting even's mother had ever made was of the shadow man a mysterious figure who gobble up children who same stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing but she had to go she had to know figure seemed to keep its distance from even when she got closer it moved further away it was leading her somewhere Oof. easy there even what are you doing out so darn late you're running like the old witch uma put a curse on you oh darling you're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even.
What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Listen, even, it takes two to be a jack. One to be the jack, and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Ah, oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. Can't be here, little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a very important job. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. The, the loading of junk onto boots. Clearly, all day long and all year long and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boots. Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. 
Ah, the very idea that the Queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm, uh, just not willing to share them. Ha! Ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should entrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to, with you. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Run. Well. Well, well, well. Look at you. So far from home and all alone. You're lucky the Queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her, because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, upriding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. You can't escape it, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known.